Vehicles that run on hydrogen have become more and more common in recent years as more automakers have decided to invest in this economical and clean substitute for fossil fuels. A recent development, a water-injected hydrogen engine, could nonetheless increase the appeal of hydrogen. Hydrogen has the potential to play a significant part in the global sustainable energy scenario. The commercial transportation industry is the one that stands to gain the most from the use of green hydrogen as an energy carrier. Most typically, when individuals consider using hydrogen in commercial vehicles, they consider battery electric fuel cells. However, using internal combustion engines, AD2 power a vehicle is also a feasible option when using hydrogen with a lower initial cost. Hydrogen internal combustion engines may reduce greenhouse gas emissions in a manner similar to fuel cells. The knowledge with an engine may facilitate the transition to hydrogen engines. Manufacturers and consumers are more familiar with internal combustion engines than fuel cell automobiles. Hydrogen is a fuel that emits no carbon emissions and is used in hydrogen-powered cars whether they are internal combustion engine or fuel cell driven. However, calculating CO2 produced from well to wheel is a bit trickier. It is dependent upon the hydrogen's manufacturing process and supply. Traditionally, steam methane reforming is an industrial process that produces hydrogen. The process of steam methane reforming releases a considerable amount of CO2. That kind of hydrogen production is referred to as grey hydrogen, and the chemical and petrochemical industries utilize a lot of it. Thankfully, there is a method for creating hydrogen that is CO2-free. We refer to it as electrolysis. Using electricity, water molecules are broken down into hydrogen and oxygen during the electrolysis process. This power is produced from carbon dioxide free resources such as sun, wind, and water. Green hydrogen, the fuel created by this technology, allows vehicles to operate almost CO2 free. Hydrogen engines provide all of these and other environmental advantages. Although hydrogen cars are very beneficial to the environment, they may be costly to buy and maintain. However, the price of green hydrogen and hydrogen-powered cars is falling quickly. Internal combustion engine hydrogen cars could be less expensive than fuel cell vehicles. They could also cost less than a comparable-sized, similarly-ranged battery electric car. This is due to the fact that their build and design are almost exact replicas of standard gasoline and diesel cars. The same factories and supply networks may be used to make them in large quantities. As a result, the hydrogen economy that is now developing stands to gain from hydrogen engines. It is anticipated that the price of producing and acquiring green hydrogen would keep falling. This will occur when government incentives and laws kick in and electrolysis technology advances. The price of $1, 5 cents per kilogram of hydrogen could eventually be affordable. The goal of the Department of Energy's Hydrogen Shot Initiative in the United States is to cut the price of clean hydrogen by 80 to $1 per kilogram in 10 years 111. In some places, hydrogen is already fairly inexpensive on its own, sent green hydrogen generation initiatives in Norway. For instance, estimate prices per kilogram of hydrogen as low as $3, 5 cents to $4, 5 cents. This translates to around $30 to $40 per million dollars per hish thermal units per mil units, which, which is less than what natural gas has lately sold for on European markets. It is essential to remember that different regions have different natural gas and hydrogen price trends. A European rule targets medium and heavy-duty vehicle manufacturers. Manufacturers will have to make sure that the trucks they sell release 30 less CO2 by 2030 than they do now. This rule may encourage OEMs to aggressively promote the use of hydrogen in internal combustion engines. Trucks carrying hydrogen will need to be priced to sell. A portion of OEMs should also anticipate helping to develop the infrastructure needed for the generation and delivery of hydrogen. This might be similar to how some manufacturers of battery electric vehicles have begun installing recharge stations beside busy roads. On the globe, several legislative and regulatory initiatives aimed at providing incentives and subsidies for hydrogen are under underway. The European Union, for instance, intends to revise its minimum energy taxation regulations, determining the lowest tax that must be paid on sold low-carbon hydrogen is the aim.
Motor fuel will cost your 0.15 per gigajoule, or around 2 cents, for every comparable gallon of gasoline. That is over a hundred times less than the minimum fuel tax of your 10.75 per gigajoule, or around your own 0.3 per gallon, that is applied to gasoline. Policies of this kind might quickly close the cost difference between hydrogen and conventional fuels. Digit, an excellent bridge technology toward carbon-free mobility, is hydrogen-powered vehicles. In theory, fuel cell cars have the potential to be more efficient than internal combustion engine cars. Therefore, hydrogen fuel cells should be preferred over hydrogen engines for the majority of applications. Long term, this is very likely the case. For many fleets of commercial vehicles, hydrogen engines will be the more sensible choice in the near future. Fuel cell technology is developing quickly, and fleet managers are seldom willing to assume the risk that comes with relatively new technology. On the other hand, internal combustion engines powered by hydrogen rely on a dependable technology. In addition, vehicles with modifications to the motor, gearbox, or chassis may include hydrogen engines. Owners find the changeover to be simpler as a result. They may keep driving the cars they are familiar with and trust, only swapping out the engines. Earlier this month, Austrian mobility technology company Avil had a fairly happy day when it verified simulations indicating that their 2.0-liter turbo hydrogen racing engine prototype was producing over 200 horsepower per liter in addition to its turbocharger. Avil employs a water injection system to temper combustion for a safer burn and increased power output and so far it's operating flawlessly. Although fuel cell electric powertrains have received the majority of the attention when it comes to automotive hydrogen, hydrogen combustion engines are gradually making a comeback in the discourse. Still, even in a racing context where the lack of roadside H2 fueling infrastructure is not a problem, they have their own set of challenges, as Avil notes lean burn or combustion with a high air to fuel ratio is the reason why the standard hydrogen internal combustion engine is poor performance figures. Lean burn reduces power production, which is especially troublesome for racing engines, even though it may be advantageous for fuel efficiency and emissions reduction. Avil said that a water injection system will be used to increase power in its hydrogen racing engine concept when it revealed last year that its motorsport branch, Aval Rytec was working on the project. Period. It claims that by increasing the amount of water in the engine's intake air, its intelligent PI water injection technology prevents premature ignition and brings the air-fuel ratio down from a lean burn to a stoichiometric level. The air is supplied via wastegate turbocharging system. Lean burn and its low output problems are resolved by Aval's setup mechanism which produces a hydrogen ice that produces higher power. The highest figures from Avil's previous predictions were confirmed by this month's testing of the prototype 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder engine, which produced 410 horsepower, 302 Ken double 6500 RPM, and 369 total LBFT 500 and 369 total LBFT fee T and trend 3000 and 4000 RPM. As previously reported by Avil, the engine would be competitive in contemporary close-to-production racing classes with an output of around 201 horsepower per liter 150 W per A. After testing, Ellen Lahr, director of Avil Motorsport, remarked, The results achieved by our H2 racing engine confirm that we are able to deliver an extremely competitive package with this technology. Avil Racetech wants to steer racing toward a sustainable future. We have moved one step closer to realizing this goal with the creation of the first racing engine under our own brand. Zinitrous oxides or nikes, especially at stoichiometric levels, are released during the combustion of hydrogen even when carbon emissions are not produced. Lean burn engines aid in reducing NOx emissions. Therefore, a hydrogen fuel cell would be a cleaner, emission-free method of operation. Yet, according to Avial, a hydrogen combustion engine would eventually prove more cost-effective for racing teams due to its easier adaption when switching from gasoline internal combustion engines or circuit. They will also retain the authentic mechanical sound and sensation of vintage racing. The 2.0-liter H2 turbo power plant will next be put to the test on a racetrack by Avil in a real automobile. Comment on this video and subscribe to the channel.